Welcome back to the second quarter of the Bobby Dupre Show, along with my sidekick here, Andrew. Good morning. That's two quarters, and man. Two, well, yes, sir. We're in the second quarter. And uh, it we changed it to quarters, and it just happened it's that football, football season <laughs> came right. on, So because we're going to have to use that year-round. Mm -hmm. But uh, soccer, uh, I'm seeing more articles now where mm -hmm. they refer to football, and they spell it just like we spell it, correct? And, but it's soccer they're talking about. When they about. say football, they mean soccer. If they say American football, they mean what we <laughs> all know as football. And, and That's right. College and right. high school. Right. And uh, we want to wish all of our local teams uh, nothing but success. Uh, we don't speak a lot about the football teams, but uh, I do keep up with the, with the wins, losses. And uh, I noticed my old alma mater, Opelousas High, is having a lot better year this year. They are. I'm happy to see that. There was a little skirmish after or during the game, I think, uh, over with our neighbor, uh, Boshan High School, and both coaches uh, were very upset with what occurred. And uh, uh, let's hope that it's a good learning experience. I like for the, the fact young they, brought all, they brought all the kids together at, after halftime and got them together and, and got them to, to understand. And that's, that's what you want from your coaches is that when, they, when a kid makes a mistake, correct them and move on. Yeah, and move on and use it as a learning experience. Sure. Those kind of things uh, are not uh, uh, not good for the, for the football, but then it's also a life learning experience um, because it's not good when you go out to different events to start getting in little arguments with different people that, in attendance. That's the whole goal of, of the sports is to teach them life lessons. So now they've learned that when they have a disagreement with somebody, they come together, they bury the hatchet, and they move on. Much better to happen on the football field than somewhere on a Friday night on the side of the road. Well, let's talk about uh, my last yeah. Wednesday after we uh, taped the program. Uh, went over to Indian Hills Country Club. I was invited by uh, Don Stemmons, uh, Hammy Patin, and Mr. Lee Young with Indian Hills Country Club to go by and uh, have a sandwich with them. Uh, and uh, that's a picture to prove that uh, I went by <laughs> and we kind of were in a hurry. Uh, I had uh, Mac Lejeune, my, my, dr my uh, assistant driver, uh -huh. uh, he drove the car back from our uh, picking up the motorcycle. We'll show you pictures of that. But uh, we go way, way back, the, the three of us, uh, Hammy, uh, Don, and uh, Lee Young, uh, started, I guess, uh, back in the early, in the mid-60s when Evangeline Downs opened. We all were interested in horse racing uh, and and still all, by the way, and we're still friends. And Mr. Hammy. Thanks, guys. Mr. Hammy ain't no baby. Still, that's a big man. Oh, oh yeah. What? And uh, this young lady here uh, is the uh, manager of the Hampton Inn in Tyler, Texas. And uh, I thought maybe I would get my bike triked out, uh, maybe receive it uh, late Thursday afternoon. So uh, I asked her if uh, I could uh, park it for the night underneath the uh, entrance uh, canopy. And she said, by golly, you sure can. She gave me her business card. I said, well, I want a picture in case uh, the, Somebody, the, man, the, the person on duty says, well, uh, you might have picked that up. In right. the, in, this she, is the one that said it's okay. Yeah, but I said, <laughs> this is your picture. So good morning. I enjoyed my stay at the Hampton Inn in Tyler, Texas. And this is inside the, the plant at the Motor Trike? Motor Trike, you bet. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a Miss uh, Brandy took me around and showed uh, Mac and I the whole plant. Uh, they employ approximately 80 people there. They have two engineers on staff. So everything that uh, basically that is on my triked out uh, Honda uh, was manufactured there or assembled there in the plant. And they track every brand. They, they can track any brand that you bring yeah, to the motorcycle. Yeah, they do Valkyrie. Custom made. The, uh, we're going to show you later on a, a picture of a Valkyrie and a picture of a, a V-Rod yeah. uh, Harley, which is a, uh, the only other V-Rod that I know is uh, Ken Fakuri owns a V-Rod Motor here. truck, that's their paint rooms that, there, and you can see exceeding your expectations. Yep, a uh, very, very nice plant. Now, this is a... A three-wheel, uh, it looks like a mini automobile, uh -huh. and actually it has a four-cylinder 
a Ford engine with automatic transmission, really? heating and air conditioning, no kidding. Uh, everything but a top on it. No top. It's, open it's top, but it got open air Open top, heat. so it's a, still a motorcycle. And there's and a completed there's one. There's a completed one right there, and they've engineered that, and uh, you don't get the young lady. That's that's the young lady uh, bringing, bringing uh, Mac and I around wh while Giving we were the touring tour? the plant. That's mm -hmm. correct. And uh, this is the young technician that actually worked on the, on the bike. Uh, he took it apart and then that's had to the put before. it back together. That's, that, that's your Honda, which what, what, what do they call that model? Interstate. Uh, Interstate. Interstate. And that's just a regular two-wheel motorcycle before yep. they begin. And then here's where he starts tearing Stripping everything off of it. Stripping it all off. Off the rear end. Yep. And then we'll keep going because they're working on that. And he has to that. do work on the front end because they, they uh, uh, stretch out the front end just a, a oh, four really? and a half degrees right, right to give it easier steering and that's one of that technology that that they've installed themselves into their unit and this is my new friend here mike barra uh what a friend met him over at the uh, trike uh, motor trike uh, facility right. and uh, got to talking about something to do. He says, well, what about the East Texas Oil Museum? I said, fine. I'm starting to learn that uh, these museums that uh, feature uh, local uh, history uh, are very, very interesting. And uh, this is another, that's that's his bike right there. And uh -huh. he, the he's got, he's... Th th no, no, that's th the, uh, the V-Rod. Th that's... No, this is the V-Rod right, right here. Right, this right. Is, yeah, that's right. the V-Rod, and uh, this the, that is, is the Valkyrie. Okay, okay And gotcha. uh, that is Mike on board. Good morning, Mike, and uh, thanks so much for your friendship. He actually came and uh, picked us up and brought us uh, in his uh, little white, uh, showed a little white uh, GTO. GTO. Cool. Uh, hopped up the three deuces on it. Came like that Man. from the factory, of course. But uh, that was a hopped up model. Oh, yeah. And it's in excellent condition. Took us over to Longview to uh -huh. Bodacious Barbecue. And it looks like everybody that goes to Longview goes to Bodacious. I mentioned that last mm -hmm. night because the mayor of. Uh, of Longview. of Longview is uh, J. Bar uh, Dean, uh, Dougie Dean, and all the Dean brothers, and of course they just lost uh, a dear friend of all of ours. Uh, that brother Dean died. Uh, Greg. Uh, Greg died. Right. Yes, Greg Dean, and uh, and Here's this is pictures Derek. of the uh, outside the museum. And this museum is on the uh, uh, Kilgore uh, University. Uh, grounds, Campus, uh -huh. uh, and they're known for the Rangerettes. Uh, That's right. They they're, are in every major, major. The girls uh, with the cowboy hats, red, white, and blue, that do the splits for uh, the football games and all. And, and uh, the major uh, parades, mm -hmm. the Macy's sure. Parade every year. Cotton, cotton uh, bowl, bowl and all that. All yeah. that. Uh, Good old cars they got there, huh? Yep, that's an old truck that was used in the heyday. You see, the East Texas uh, area uh -huh. uh, was the oil boom. California had the gold uh, uh, gold rush, right. and uh, Texas, East Texas, and still you'd be surprised at how much drilling is going oh, yeah. on right now. They, they're not talking a lot about it, but they are popping some holes down in that area. It was amazing to see. And they got a truck to show how it's show muddy. How it was rough. muddy. There were no streets. There were just right. people Off moved road. in by the thousand, the, like Clay Bertrand would say, the thousands. And uh, here is a, a statue of uh, one of the early uh, investors in East Texas uh, oil uh, development, and uh, this is H.L. Hunt. His uh, middle name, the L, stands for Lafayette. Really? That's correct, Ain't Lafayette. That that, that uh, I had never seen his full. He just goes by H.L. Hunt, but they had it down, and I remember the the I forgot what the. H stand for. But then, then, then the sons got an oil field business. One of them owns the Kansas City Chiefs. The family owns the Kansas City Chiefs to this day. The right, NFL and team. they built this after he died. They built this huge museum mm -hmm. and uh, donated it uh, to the college uh, to take care of and and, and maintain that must be it like his and, business and grow office. it. Uh, yeah, that acting like and, and uh, there's your tour guide. That's my tour guide right here. What a man, uh, retiree, but won't never never stop. Uh, he's an assistant uh, at his church, uh, assistant pastor at his church. Excellent.
Cool, you ate some ribs. This too, is I bodacious. <laughs> that, uh, did I like? That's my plate. Oh, yeah. Did I enjoy it? I think I did. <laughs> and a wooden a bathtub. Wo wooden bathtub. They, they didn't. They had to do things right away to get these people to bathe at least once a week. <laughs> I guess. But yeah, Dirt they were they were sure. sleeping in the back of trucks, uh, tents. I mean, just Rough. There, there were no hotels or anything. Right, right. It, they were just living and, and making that quick, quick money. And uh, this is the young, one of the young ladies, the other young lady that uh, came and assisted us uh, in, on our tours and all. And of course, that's old Mike. Uh, Mike, uh, you sure were holding it tight there. Uh, <laughs> hope Miss Diane doesn't see this picture of you. Uh, Diane is his wife, by the way. And then and, there's the bike. Yeah, and you see how, how you see how they work mm -hmm. clean. They've got that towel underneath it, and just a real a motor sharp, sharp. Man. That's motor trike. And there's a completed. Well, look, look all the lights you put on the back bumper. It is of it. beautiful. Beautiful. The Man. lights at night are safe. just safe. safe, and the front is extra oh, yeah. lights. Look, 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 lights look at the lights oh, there yeah. on the front. Uh, love my bike. If you're needing to trike a bike, I would uh, certainly recommend uh, you get a hold to Eddie Manuel over at uh, Manuel's Tire and, uh, of course, uh, Eddie's uh, Cycle. And he'll hook you up with and, the motor trike. And he will hook you up with the motor trike. It's reasonably priced, and uh, you get to visit the plant if you choose. Either I could have had it, but I just felt like I wanted to see this because uh, the price was about half of what I had been quoted eight years ago. I wow. don't know if uh, what uh, I, I seem to have gotten a good product, and it was about half the price I had been quoted. Well, excellent. And, uh, so I'm not going to tell you what I paid for it, but uh, it's reasonable. And your friend Mike over there sent you a nice note after. It was a nice email. It was very, very nice. And yeah. Then, now you've got this. Yeah, that's one. right. Two Thanks, two Mike. Uh, he says that uh, he met a... a, a, a a true, how do you, he, oh, he blew me uh, up, Oh, man. yeah, he, 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 he said. He used some big words. He figured that little cage was going to go over there, just going to be a nice all-around guy. He said, but y'all could talk about some stuff when <laughs> yeah. y'all got to talking. <laughs> yeah. Bobby, oh, you pretty know some yeah, stuff. I've, I've had some great experiences. <laughs> Thank you, God, for being so kind to me and my family and my friends here and all the friends out there. Uh, these two young men, we, we needed some uh, fuel, some gas, mm -hmm. when we uh, got to Alexandria. That's at the air Air Base Road exit, uh, where there's a bunch of stations. This is the Texaco one right here, the first one. And uh, met these two young uh, men. They're from the Shreveport area. And uh, on uh, the left, of course, uh, is uh, Brian Edmondson. Mm -hmm. And on the right is uh, Keith uh, Vosbury. Mm -hmm. And uh, they look at the lights on the on, on the that on that Harley yeah. around the engine. He's got right. lights all over, and he presses. It's all key operated. So you can turn them off and, and on and change, and change colors, colors and I mean, <laughs> really, really, and nice guys, really, right. really enjoyed our visit. And then there's usually something that's unusual when you're talking and you, I guess we visited there 15, 20 minutes with these two young guys and fueled up and all, and then showed a picture of the, the These people had some bad luck. What some was that, like a little Honda a, with some flats on Three it? young uh, people, a young girl, probably 20 years old, uh, hit a curb and blew out two tires. Oh, and uh, they called uh, one Tow of the truck. towing trucks, and uh, they were going to tow it back to, she was from Shreveport also. So I'm, hopefully they made and a good trip. there you are on the bike. On Man. my bike. You only uh, had the strain to keep it up. You don't have to balance. No, no don't balance. Don't worry about laying I, it down. I, I bought the floor uh, boards that... Oh, uh, yeah come with it. Looks nice. It, you know, it's an, an a dresses optional, it up. Yeah. but it not only dresses it up, it's good for you. You rest your feet on sure. that, and it you also is strong enough where you, you use it to get step up. on to the yeah. bike. Step up. And then there this you are at home. This is all Saturday morning. We had to clean you that gotta thing. You got to wash it. Up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wash it up. And uh, Matthew and Charles, uh, Charles Cummins and Matthew Jackson, uh, they said, go sit down and uh, just get us the products, and uh, we'll do the rest. And they washed it, uh, almost a dry wash, very very little water, and then uh, they polished the whole thing. Here they are polishing it. And, uh, Saved just, inside. Yep, yep, yep. Who's that in the background? Is Harry Gabriel you got in the Yeah, Harry came up ahead, right Harry. after we finished. <laughs> Good time to come up. Yeah, but Harry takes care of me in other ways. He gets my papers out of that bad weather. We're going to hold the rest of the photos for the second half hour. Folks, thank you all for watching, and we're going to see you all in one minute on Radio and TV.